Welcome to Trade Pro. This video, I'll be covering a five minute scalping strategy using only the 200 period exponential moving average. So I'll cover what the strategy is, exactly what I'm going to be testing. I'll test it 100 trades in a row and show all the results of that. So let's talk about the actual strategy after a quick shout out for my affiliate links down in the description below, along with my Patreon page, where you can learn my personal strategy and get access to 19 trading scripts, three indicators, and a capitalized.ai, another one of my affiliates. Check those out in my links in the description down below if you're interested. But let's talk about this strategy and then test it 100 times and cover the results. So getting into this strategy, all you're going to need is the 200 period exponential moving average. So you can see right here, very simple, basic. And then I have an ATR stop loss indicator for the stop loss placement. All I've done is change the style of it, but the inputs are default at 12 and 1.5. I'll show you which indicator that is. So if we just type in ATR, ATR stop loss indicator by Edgar underscore Tran underscore TR. And let's get into the actual trades. So how is this strategy going to work? What am I actually going to be testing 100 times in this video? Now, all I'm doing is seeing price, what direction it's pulling back into the 200 period EMA from and taking trades based on that. So if price pulls back into the 200 EMA from below the 200 EMA, that's going to be a short entry. So we get a touch of the 200 EMA right here. Stop loss will go to the stop loss indicator upon close of that candle. And then using a one to three risk to reward ratio, that is gonna be the strict setup. Of course, that doesn't need to be the end all be all for this strategy. You can also move the stop loss to break even at a certain point, use a different risk to reward ratio, take partial profits. Um, and I'll do additional tests in another video, trying out moving the stop loss to break even or taking partial profits. But for this video, just using a strict one to three risk to reward ratio to see what the results are. So for this one, it came up from below the 200 EMA, and that's why it's a short position. Next one, this one gets stopped out. We have price coming down from above the 200 EMA and touching the 200 EMA right here. Stop loss goes to the stop loss indicator as soon as that candle closes, and then using a one to three risk to reward ratio, this one comes out profitable. The next one, we have another pullback right into the 200 EMA, and that's going to be the next entry. Stop loss goes to the stop loss indicator using a one to three risk to reward ratio. And this one also comes out as a profitable trade. But let's see how it performs over a series of 100 trades. Very simple strategy. So don't need to explain it that much more. So let's just get into the 100 tests and then I'll talk about the actual results after that. Results are in after the 100 back tested trades on euro against the US dollar, five minute time frame. And so let's cover it. Risk to reward ratio being used here was a one to three. It took one and a half months to find the 100 trades. Out of those, there were 32 winning trades and 68 losing trades. The largest winning streak was three and the largest losing streak was six. And the gain on the account after all that, 28%. So this one did quite well, decent, and we'll put it on the strategy ranking spreadsheet and compare it to others to see how it stacks up. Obviously, 28% isn't going to put it very highly on the strategy ranking spreadsheet. But again, what I was talking about, this is not the absolute ideal way that this strategy is going to be set up. You can move the stop loss to break even. You can take partial profits. There's other ways to go about it other than just having a hard set one to three risk reward ratio, because often there is a reaction off the 200 EMA. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't quite make it to that one to three risk to reward ratio. Maybe it makes it one to two or one to 1.5 or one to 2.5, but those are still losses. Even if there's a significant move in your trade's favor, um, you can definitely use better trade management practices to increase the gain on the account and increase the win rate. So don't look at it as, oh, it's a 32% win rate, this strategy sucks, because it still made money at the end of the day. So 28% is still very good and only took one and a half months. So let's put it on the strategy ranking spreadsheet and and see how it stacks up. 
All right, so here we are on the strategy ranking spreadsheet. This one falling at spot number 49 out of the 88 strategies I've tested on the channel so far. And so it's doing kind of medium level results as far as gain on the account goes, but it did only take 1.5 months to get that 28% gain on the account. And again, getting back into what I was talking about earlier with this strategy using a strict one to three risk to reward ratio, there's better ways to do your trade management. There's partial profits. You can move the stop loss to break even or into profit at some point um, to protect your capital. And often there is a reaction off of the 200 period exponential moving average. So when, even when it doesn't go with a full one to three, often it goes one to one, one to two, one to 2.8, and then drops and still takes it a loss based on this specifics test because I'm just using the one to three strict risk to reward ratio. So having that better trade management could definitely make this win rate a whole lot better, make the gain on the account a whole lot better and definitely give it more potential. So definitely gonna have a follow up on this one since it's just so, so simple, just bouncing off the 200 EMA, just buying at the 200 EMA or selling at the 200 EMA based on what direction price is coming at it from. So. Definitely something to look into and test further um, to see if we can get that gain on the account figure higher, get that win rate higher, um, and just try out other trade management tactics to see what the results are. As usual, testing different things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, um, best way to figure out what the best strategy is for you. And with the five minute time frame, you do have to worry about fees or spreads as well. So just keep that in mind when thinking about your strategies and what you want to do with your trading. Um, personally, I do trade on much higher time frames. So, uh, you know, fees and spreads do become an issue, which this did not take into account, um, which is a very big factor when we're talking about a five minute time frame strategy. So just keep that in mind as well. So it definitely does need some work additionally, um, other than just using a strict one to three risk to reward ratio for this. But the actual strategy itself, um, I think is pretty decent. Uh, definitely think that can be worked with and definitely think that there's a way that you can profit off of just using the 200 EMA, um, whether it be any time frame, um, especially on maybe a little bit of a higher time frame where fees and spreads aren't such big of an issue um, as they are on a five minute time frame where you really do need to take that into account um, and keep that in mind. But um, anyway, that will wrap things up for this video. Just want to give a quick shout out again to my Patreon page, learn my personal trading strategy, get access to 19 trading scripts and three indicators. Um, also my affiliate links down in the description below if you're interested in trading on a crypto exchange, um, Bybit, or if you're interested in capitalize.ai where you can create automate strategies um, check out those links um, to support my channel but anyway thank you as always for watching don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't already comment down below for the YouTube algorithm and that's gonna cover everything so thank you again and have a great day